From his humble upbringing in Beirut to his education abroad, from his early days as a young priest to becoming archbishop, Vace Josepian has helped transform the Armenian church around the world. Those who know this dynamic man have seen him equally comfortable among world leaders as he is with his nieces and nephews. He serves his church, his family, his community, and his homeland with unrelenting dedication and determination. There is no one like him. He's one of a kind. The youngest ordained archbishop of his time, Vace Serpaizan was born in Beirut in 1930 and christened Josep, one of five children of Krikor and Osana Josepian. As a teenager, he was accepted into the Antilles Theological Seminary. By age 21, he made a lifelong commitment and was ordained a celibate priest. As a young priest, he traveled to the University of Edinburgh, Scotland, to further his theological studies. It was a happy time for young Father Vache, learning and growing, making lifelong friends, but never forgetting his roots and identity, even as God took him abroad to serve the church. You and I first met nearly 50 years ago when we were students together at New College. We introduced ourselves. I said, I'm Stuart McGregor. You said, with a name like that, you must be a Scotsman. You said, I'm Joseph Hofsepian. I said, with a name like that, you can't be a Scotsman. We congratulate you on your election to such a distinguished position. We, and we join with your people in thanking God for your ministry. And with them, you, we celebrate your achievements, first as priest in the Armenian Church, then as primate over the past 50 years. We remember you from your student years at New College with admiration, enduring affection, and delight. You were a cheerful, friendly, resilient, good-natured, hard-working graduand. Your gifts as a linguist impressed us all. Yet, like the rest of us, and I record this with some appreciation, you struggled with Hebrew. Your handsome bearded face, your tailored suits, and your gold watch chain added an exotic flavor to what was largely a homegrown and, dare I say it, somewhat dull, scruffy, post-war Scottish Presbyterian class. Those of us who lived with you in New College residence recall your enthusiasm for football, your prowess on the field, and your enormous appetite for study. One of your resident colleagues mentioned that you were a breath of fresh air to those who felt homesick or were anxious about their studies. Joe, we do hope that you will be able to find time to return to this city where you once studied. You are assured of a warm welcome here, in the words of the traditional Scottish invitation, Joe, haste ye back among us. From the start, Father Vache showed a straightforward yet warm leadership style. He is known for not resting until the job is done. His first assignment was as parish priest in the Holy Cross Armenian Church in Union City, New Jersey. From the start, this 26-year-old priest caught everyone's attention. Father Vache revitalized the Union City Parish during the 11 years he served this growing congregation. His next challenge was to begin an Armenian church diocese in Canada. He was elevated to the position of bishop and went to work. He built a new diocese, a magnificent cathedral, and a school in Montreal. He organized new parishes and wrote a new diocese constitution. In just a few short years, 
the Armenians of Canada saw their church grow dramatically. Bishop Vache's transforming influence soon carried him to the Western Diocese. At only 41 years of age, young Bishop Vache was elected in 1971 by the Diocesan Assembly and was confirmed by the Venerable Catholicos Vasken I as the seventh primate of the Western Diocese. It is here that we have been blessed to have him for the last 32 years. Upon his 25th anniversary of ordination, Catholicos Vasken I bestowed upon Bishop Vache the rank of Archbishop. He was the youngest man to reach this position in our church. When the primate first arrived to the diocesan headquarters, it was a rented house on Crenshaw Boulevard in Los Angeles and only had an old desk and an antique typewriter. He used to joke, they looked like relics from Noah's Ark. But that is not all Sir Paisan saw. As a man of vision, a builder, he saw much more. A diocese which one day would have its own headquarters and cathedral, more churches, a youth camp, and a growing church-going Armenian community. As always, Sir Paisan rolled up his sleeves and went to work. He launched a building campaign and purchased the property at 1201 North Vine Street in Hollywood. This was the diocesan headquarters for many years. Sir Paisan has never stopped building. He has established new parishes across North America. To date, in the Western Diocese, he has established 13 new parishes, bringing the diocese total to 26. And now, as his crowning achievement, Sir Paisan Vache has led the way in building the new Western Diocese headquarters in Burbank, California, a culmination of the vision he held so many years ago. Because of his leadership and guidance, the Western Diocese of the Armenian Church is one of the largest in the world. He knows, however, that the church is not just about buildings or offices or numbers. It's about God's people, united in spirit to follow, serve, and glorify Jesus Christ. Whether conducting Badarak, advising a fellow priest, consoling a family, or reaching out to youth, Sir Paisan knows his calling as a spiritual leader and pursues it with a wholehearted reverence. Under his watch, the diocese has reached out to all sectors of the community, including those in prison. He preaches with authority and passion. Mi vahtar. Mi vahtar. He is generous with his time and resources. He connects with everyone around him, whether they are leaders or children, the famous or the homeless. And he holds a special place in his heart for our Armenian young people, for their spiritual well-being. Sir Paisan Vache was a young man himself when he entered the ministry. He understands what young people want, opportunities to grow close to God and bond outside the classroom. Sir Paisan oversaw the purchase of the Diocesan summer camp in 1987, a scenic location, 160 acres, located near Fresno. Each year, over 500 young campers spend three weeks at camp, developing their relationship with God, taking classes, competing in sports, renewing old friendships, and making new ones. He has also developed the Armenian Church Youth Organization, or ACYO, which has a chapter at each church in the diocese. For these future youth leaders, he organized religious and cultural retreats where hundreds of ACYO members gather each year to learn about the Bible and their church.
no one loves and serves their community with greater drive than Surpaisan. He helped start the St. Peter AGBU Armenian Day School in Van Nuys. Surpaisan also helped found the St. Gregory, Alfred, and Marguerite Hosepian Armenian School in Pasadena. The Western Diocese also built St. Gregory the Illuminator High School in Stepanovan in 1997 on the site where the earthquake had demolished the existing high school. Surpaisan initiated the Western Diocese Endowment Fund and the Stewardship Fund to secure the necessary funds to sustain the church into the future. Surpaisan loves his family above all else. He understands the responsibility that we all owe to family, and he has sought a life that would enable him to help and honor his loved ones. Surpaisan's large and loving family has been blessed to have him preside over all of the weddings, the baptisms, the holidays, the milestones of their lives. During all the other times, they also love the fun, the laughter, the outings, the eating, drinking, hunting, joking, the close relationship and guidance of their brother, uncle, and great uncle. The entire family is one. Yev Mnatsir Kach Arashnot. Aisu Yehpairagan Yevindanegan Skatsumnero. Gaoteng Mahtelov Aroch Yev Yegar Yank Urgarna Sharna Yev. Siro Agot Ose. He is a pillar of strength, not only for his family, but also for the entire Armenian homeland and diaspora. He not only coordinates Armenian activities, but also represents the Armenian community in local, national, and international affairs. Throughout the years, he has met with five presidents of the United States and numerous religious and political figures. Archbishop Osepian has been an active member of the Supreme Spiritual Council of Holy Etchmiadzen, the largest advisory body appointed by the Catholicos. For Armenia and its mother church, Serpaizan is truly a worldwide ambassador. It is from the Armenian legacy of faith and sacrifice that Vache Serpaizan gains his strength and sense of purpose. He has that rare combination of bold authority and gentle humility, that ability to connect with old and young, powerful and poor alike. His dedication is why we admire him and all he has done for our Armenian church. We pray that this man of vision, this man of God, will continue to serve the church and its people with his boundless energy and signature charisma for many years to come. Thank you, Sir Paisan.